All right, everyone. Welcome to Operation Night. Our objective is to sweep and clear this town of enemy positions, enemy uh, forces. We're going to take the, uh, oh, really it's the patrol, but what we got to do right now is patrol the radio, the fucking radio. We got to patrol the train tracks. The train tracks uh, are vi vital for this area, vital for the city of Narva. We got to make sure the Russians are not out and around digging stuff up or um, planting bombs on them or anything they shouldn't be doing. So how we're going to do this, we're going to shake it up a little bit different than we normally do. Sugar Squad is going to head south by foot out of Maine. They're going to locate uh, the first two uh, patrol points that you see marked on the map. Uh, that is in Bravo 5-2 and Delta 5-5. They're going to go clear those points, drop their radios. Rest Platoon is going to head east out of Maine like this at the uh, vehicle uh, the vehicle mark oddball squad and clay j squad which will have been in the lodges will dismount there oddball will push south into the village i will take a wallaji back pick up ethel squad will be which will be on foot and then i'll pick them back up drop them off with oddball so they'll both be in the village they will take Herman Castle and that point southwest to the yellow fob mark, which is our end objective. If everything goes right, we will set up a fob up in the uh, the train station. Meanwhile, Squad 1, Clay J Squad is going to be sweeping the eastern boundary of the map into Russian territory. They'll be sweeping south towards Russian main, basically. And they'll be crossing the river west and gathering the points 3 and 4. For us, so we're going to be hitting both sides at once, and ending up at the yellow fob mark. Our two IC for today is Shugheart, followed by Clay J, Oddball, Athel, and Ronin. Ronin is my command shadow for today. Uh, treat him with respect. He wants to become a commander just like me. Uh, I don't know if that's going to ever happen, but let gotta let him try. <laughs> Oof. I'm a real boy. Yep. <laughs> All right. So real boy so confirmed. We're live in a minute and a half, so let's go get ready. Clay J and uh. It says he's not a. Never mind. It was Lodgy. And we're live. Oh, yeah, DC, sir. Yeah, I'm assuming. Oh, shit. With round one of Operation Night here on Squad Ops. Ethel's going east. Sorry, Mom, Toby. You have to... Yep, Ethel's going east now. Getting close, and oh my, look at down there. Bunch of folks. Ethel, your entire squad is to head east up to here. Yes, I know I'm writing this there. Two squads on foot, two squads in lodges. They're going to stage the lodges somewhere up here. So. You, while the U.S. forces are going to go ahead and get in position, we're going to fly over the map here. Give y'all a look at Narva, if y'all forget what it looks like. It's a city. It's a pretty dense city, all things considered. Lots of variation between the, uh, the major highways and the side streets. The different types of compounds, walls in certain, you know, backyards, the random park here and there. Russian forces, uh, we're taking a look here. Bartok Warrior, who, of course he has a lot. Bartok Warrior, uh, Mad Lad, is running out here. He wants to find some vehicles. Of course, he's not going to find anything. Uh, let's take a look at Russian positions here. One squad generally north of the point with buddy pairs being pressed out. Um, one fire team split into two, so buddy pairs going west here, going north here. Um, squad one for Russia looks like a squad leader and a fire team are over in Charlie 6. 
they're going to look around for uh, U.S. forces here. And then we have uh, a fire team down here in Echoes 8. Yes, dog. And then we have uh, two squads back at the FOB itself. Constructing, they've already gone through a thousand build right now, over a thousand build. You can see the mortar has been placed. So you can imagine there's definitely a mortar pit going on there. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the compound. Uh, U.S. forces are still maneuvering to get in position to begin their patrol. And here we are. Look at that mortar pit. It looks rather, uh, rather clean. Also seeing some area denial here. Oh, they're going to have to be careful. <laughs> have to be careful when they dig up those uh, things. Um, and of course, the main compound looks like the radio is going to be in this uh, building. Matter of fact, there it is. The top floor here. Russians are uh, preparing positions in front of the, uh, in front of the apartment building. Here's the mortar uh, pit still going up. Now, uh, for more mo uh, for our mod, the uh, ammo value for the mortars have changed. They are significantly less. U.S. forces. Um, It's good. That's a good. Uh, it's a good principle. Don't engage what you can't see. It's generally pretty smart. Let's take a look at this uh, squad up here in the north. Looks like yeah, a couple right. guys Please, Overwatch. Okay. An AR. And Doobie's got himself a uh, set of binocs looking around here. One of the changes we have in our mod is that uh, not everyone has binoculars. Like you might see in a vanilla game. Or there's definitely less binoculars to go around. FTLs are generally going to be the ones with the binoculars. Uh, the binoculars that aren't squad leaders anyway. You see Beware here is the other AR for the, uh, the North... Squad, he's trying to find himself a position. Looks like Bacon Batman, his buddy that has okay, three is gonna start to the vision. The in about two minutes. U.S. forces beginning to move out here. Yeah. Looks like, oh, if I'm not mistaken, U.S. forces already on point number one. Bravo five two six. There's a squad slowly getting there on the uh, east side of the map moving as a unit maybe about five meters a second a little, a little slower generally like if I look at the big blob and see how far south it's moving just eyeballing it Ooh, hello. AT mines deployed from short round here. On the road. Pretty smart idea. Don't see any other mines deployed on the map. And we also noted earlier that there was a fire team plus a squad leader here in Charlie 66. They have pulled back. How do I get my map icons to look like this? 
gear. Do you want us uh, all on the wrong way? You, uh, this toggle right here. I want you on, like, the rocks and some of the town, some of the villages. Changes everything up. West, southwest. You'll probably be pushing. This is easier because it gives me a better idea of what actually is happening, the movement. Just keep moving south. Two, keep my fingers crossed for you. Two by themselves have secured point number one on their patrol. So the second point on the blue patrol is um, Delta 5 to Niner. So that's this uh, bridge slash uh, road crossing here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Here's the crossing in particular. There's a little uh, shack here that doesn't seem accessible. They'll be able to put the, put the radio somewhere around here. How do you get in this sort of event? Uh, this event, like most of our uh, One Life events, they're close to um, the public, but you can join in by registering on our website and then taking a basic SOTT course. Once you've completed that course, you can sign up for pretty much anything that shows up on our calendar. So everyone here has gone through a basic, and uh, everyone signs up after that. 275 ammo for the mortar. Uh, the mortar rounds, uh, as far as their ammo requirements, have been significantly reduced here. Um, and by significantly, I mean a lot. Pretty sure, a pretty sure a volley of mortar fire costs 25 in our mod right now. So that's, you know, over 10 volleys. Yeah, it's 11 okay. volleys if my math is right, on right? The, uh, on the bridge. Four, four, three, right yeah. Them. Yeah, I'll pull this disconnected. Let me know what you want us to do for setup and castle. Yeah, it's uh, 11. It just needs to be on, uh, Delta 5 U.S. forces continually moving in. They're uh, uh, moving past the castle right now. Any, uh, I think that's in vanilla. To your south or it may be. But still, the limited amount of volleys, you just got to be careful with um, what you do. With only a platoon to, uh, to face, I mean, you know, in the grand scheme of things, that many volleys is not an unreasonable, um, you know amount of uh, firepower to add in to the battlefield to really get results. Thank you, Poop. Alright, getting ready to put the next trap. Hey. Oddball's back. Copy, turn it. Looks like Clay's squad has uh, started crossing in fire teams. They're on That's the incorrect railway. Placement. Incorrect placement. Delta 529. Delta 529. Oh, yeah. Three, I want... Oddball, you're moving south. Four is going to be moving uh, to your west. Moving on your west side. South. I'm just going to um, cover for four to get into them apartments, and then we'll start moving south. Quite a bit of resources used uh, for the Russian FOB down to uh, less than half of what they started with. Let's take a look and see how everything looks right now. Very soon, we'll be seeing um, U.S. forces try to get in here, I believe. Either that or we'll see U.S. forces uh, I guess ignore it. All this building could be for nothing. See a roadblock sort of set up here going on. Lots of uh, barbed wire, 
in front of uh, firing positions. U.S. forces now getting closer. Significant progress being made here for U.S. forces starting to get closer to the uh, first contact yeah, here. The closest, um, the closest U.S. force to got, uh, Russians uh, seems to be. Oh, heard a contact report uh, for hostiles. Two, copy one. Uh, where are they two? They're in the. They're a village. Delta six. Really. Yeah, he's a I heard Delta Six, right? So do what you can to get the, yeah. Do what you can get that point down. Um, try to maintain your stealth as much as possible, though. Probably not going to be very easy if at all possible. One, your yeah, the jig might be. Up. Yeah, Roger. Engage if necessary. Uh, one, your next point. Okay. Is, uh, Bob is to be Hearing that uh, two. This is the group that we're coming down on right now. We just go east. I guess they've spotted um, two-story building. So, have they spotted short round and Bartok? Maybe they've spotted Bartok in the window. Three, I want you sweeping southwest. Four, I want you sweeping south. Let's see if we can find. Uh, let's see, Shukhart. Looks like he may have had an elevated position here in the building. Here is uh, Salty Potato. What a spot, by the way. You can barely see Bartok, like, straight through the, uh, straight through the foliage here. That's kind of nuts, actually. Let's, uh, move over here. See what Bartok can see. Keep, keep swinging, uh, southwest. Go, go towards, like, the soccer field. Uh, squad three, we Bartok just looking right now. Might actually might have had eyes on uh, U.S. forces moving out of uh, cover into the hillside there. That's kind of far. You definitely can see now. Shukart's in the open, and there's Subway Samurai. Yep. Yep. They're in the open now. Uh, Bartok Warrior definitely calling that in. Goes ahead and, uh, swaps a, swaps a rant, swaps a, swaps a mag here. Three, uh, looks like, no, it's just two points. Uh, two patrol points down for the Russians. U.S. forces in the, uh, northeast here, moving around. They still have buildings between, uh, where Beware is and everyone else. The, uh, Oh, actually, down here in Fox 6, we could be seeing contact here very soon. Boogie could be uh, throwing rounds that direction. Actually, not that not that far away. Uh, looks like Bartok and um, Short Round are going to ex, uh, exfil that building. So let's go over here and check and see how the U.S. forces... If, if you die, make sure your uh, FTLs can take over and go to place them. Now, Boogie and yeah, Nuclear yeah. Potato... Um, are probably the most likely to get some action over here in the east. And Boogie has his bipod deployed to the southeast. But U.S. force is getting closer. Nuclear Potato and FTL has Binox. He's looking around. Let's uh, move into the U.S. force here. Squad 3, can you move to secure train depot while Ford moves to the north side of it? Yeah, I'm just doing that right now. U.S. forces of uh, Squad 1 pushing through. No real contact yet. I haven't heard any shots. One, I want you to move into the set of buildings in, like, Fox 6, 8. And I want you to hold those for the time being while the rest of the squads... Yeah, I come. Squad 2 getting closer to planning their, uh... Yeah, the rest of the squad's cleared. 
Fox 55. Fox 55. Alright, moving to place the radio now. Hey. Oh! Fox 555, by the way, is the uh, big uh, train depot building. And I believe that's the last point. Yeah, so the U.S. forces have actually cleared out their patrol route. Um, just so y'all see, they've cleared out all three of, all four rather, of the patrol points for blue. So that's Bravo 526 and Delta 529, along with um, a rail car in Golf 6 and Golf 662. So they're done. Now the Russian or now the U.S. are going to have to uh, fall back to Fox 555. And that's where they'll hold out until the end of the round. Echo the Russians are going to have to attack them. That's approximately 150 meters away. And let's go take a look in the north here. Uh, Beware was moving around a little bit, but not quite sure if Beware has eyes on. Yeah, Corby, be careful. Uh, get in cover, get in buildings. Just put yourself out of there. No, look at... Oh! He might actually see Viper here. Is he going to shoot? I think he wasn't looking. U.S. forces are moving close here. Oh! Viper 13 did die, though. And there goes Dark Milkshake. RPG comes in. Looks like uh, you had me a Jello Dix Folk music responsible for that. And U.S. forces, they want they want a super fob soon. Now we're down here in uh, Fox Six. Fox Five 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 is where the U.S. are going to set up at. Russian forces not really moving. Um, there's no real reaction to contact, even though Squad One is basically right on their doorstep here to the main base where the mortar pit is. There's really not a lot of reaction to contact. It's still in the early phases of development. Uh, U.S. forces have made it to the train station depot, and uh, the construction will begin very soon. Dorf and uh, who's the other guy here? We got Dorf and Ronan. Uh, manning the lodges. The north side of train depot, squad one, you are holding your position on the south side. If you need to fall back, squad one, go ahead and do so. How often we do these missions? We, uh, we have two operations on Saturdays and one on Wednesdays. Uh, sometimes we will run other operations during the week. You can check out when we do operations, you'll know ahead of time. Just by, um, going to our website, squadops.gg, and using the calendar there, the calendar tells you when everything starts in your local time zone. And that's where you, uh, can sign up for basic or events. After you've taken basic, because you can't participate in events without basic. So, all that jazz. Russian forces... Mm, I mean, I don't really see like real movement here. Hey, player, go uh, go inside the building. You're gonna help us dig here in a second. Shots coming out far here. Dolph, I'm gonna let you. And this is this U.S. squad that's just toying. I don't think I hit that guy. Appa goes down here, uh, and he was in the building for crying out loud. Let's see if we can figure out who did that. Maybe Music or Godzilla Pro? Godzilla Pro. Look at that spot in the window. Oh, uh, reminder. Um, controlled pairs in the chat. Um, we also uh, have post missions, which don't require basic. The missions that are on the calendar right now for postscriptum do not require basic, so you can join in them uh, without basic. Just uh, go ahead and sign up for them. You just got to register on the website, 
and um, you're good to go there. Generally, the time on the website is when you want to show up by uh, being the channel before then. Once you once that time rolls around, we start roll call. Um, this is a bad idea. <laughs> uh, Lima Bean is just sitting there with a tube out, um, round loaded with friendlies all around him, just asking to get a uh, overpressure kill here. U.S. forces, moderate contact. And I say that... Shot southwest of three. You had me at Jellos actually uh, making some forward progress here on U.S. forces. I'm still looking for the big push here, and yep, here it comes. Squad 1 starting to move north here. Uh, and off, uh, and off, uh... A little fire team that Squad 1 had deployed far to the west is starting to cut back in. And U.S. Squad 2 is beginning to move towards the train route, the train yard. All the supplies have been dropped here for U.S. at their last point. But Russia now starting to react, sending a squad to the north here. Looks like they're going to head straight for the second point. Uh, it, as far as the mission's concerned, U.S. forces have cleared the railway... Uh, clear critical points on the railway. So their patrol is done. So now they're here with the uh, listening positions, the sensors out. They're here setting up a patrol base it's pretty quiet. so that they can monitor the uh, sensors. Russian forces not really reacting. Uh, don't dig this one. Dig this There's only one squad that's really reacting right now. Oh, here we go. Maybe squad three. Squad three is just, uh, maybe they're, um, consolidating here. They're moving out. Maybe they're gonna hop Thank you. in, uh, vehicle, even though they don't have gas. Big question mark. <laughs> yeah, make it... And they also could just be moving around here to get to the south of known U.S. presence. Uh, Russian forces trying to move around to the south here. They want more of a uh, more of a positional advantage before they start engaging U.S. forces. U.S. forces just stopped. Oh, look at this! Nathal's in contact here. Pretty close to the point. Contact on the road to the west. That would be these guys, so beware across the street here. Short round and uh, beware and canine. Living life over here in this uh, multi-story. Let's take a look and see this U.S. position here. Slev watching the road. Rockets being fired at uh, off to the uh, south here. Oddball, you might need to beef up your security, south. South side security, red. Now, the floor that these guys are on... Alright, they're pretty close on one. I'm gonna fall back down. ...doesn't have a balcony that faces Five. north, but they have a balcony that faces south. U.S. squad here, trying to get back in position. This is bad. They're getting chased. Uh, and watch your story get down, medic is best. Can we move fire team plus size element stay, just stay on their down. west, moving in. They got a fire team in their south. Crap, hit the wrong button. Where's this contact? Ready to move. And this overgrowth here Excuse is gonna make west. it, uh... Potentially more problematic if the Russians decide to just push on them here. Watching the south wing. Don't know the element size. I'm gonna push up where I At this point, one kill for US, four kills for Russia. K9 got smoked in the building over here to the uh, southeast. I should have loaded a fucking rocket. I'm gonna shoot a rocket that building. 
Oop, shots from Headbuster. Headbuster grabs a kill, that's Salty Potato down. Patrick Star, UJ Key, Russians are engaging here. UJ Key throws a rocket. Modern Death trying to save who he can and doesn't appear to be anybody else here. So some losses for US as they're continuously they're trying to get out of contact, but Sugar and Modern Death are just stuck here. Shigard's window probably has the most chance to get someone from the opposite street there, but so much cover um, for them. So much fire supremacy. Fire superiority, that's what I meant to say. Russians. Ooh. One night. I'm not quite sure what that was, but uh, around. So far, I've got contact to my west and north right now. Enemy mortar, enemy mortar. Oh, but I did hear what that was. Enemy mortar coming in. Could be very bad for the U.S. I got no visual. I'm just putting area fire. All right, the contacts on our west. Moving towards the south. Mortar should be landing sometime soon. Oh. Yeah, one, you're doing good. If you can't one, move to the complex. Just east of the bomb. Mortar's landing just to our west. We'll dial it in within about 20 seconds. Copy, command. You want us to give up this position here? Uh, unless you really need... You feel like it's a really good position. Russians slowly pushing east in the north here. Right, With the mortars, go. it's going to cause some problems for two to get reorganized. If these mortars get pushed east here, um, there's gonna be a bunch of people dead. Uh oh, a cardi just got lit up and killed. Storming uh, Flamio. Flamo. Go ahead and start moving. I'm here. You can move to the north hand side to where I am, but to the south hand side I'm, of these buildings. I am on you. Uh, there's I've multiple enemies. I've got a dude to my northwest that is pinning me in here. Fuck that guy, what are you doing? To the south, to the southwest, there's enemies. Get your LMG set up and just lift. Scott is trying to talk right. Subo. UJ Key starting to crest this hill. One down. And. Oh, shit. Subo oh, down. Well Alright, we're we're getting fucking chewed up over here. We can't move. Shookart is head definitely north. pinned in now. If you have any yeah, north, head north, north. north or west. Oh wait for copy. Are they to your east? Command is trying to get them to pull east out here. Or Russians uh okay, so pulling way east here in the south. Right. Our position. I don't want to lose more bodies into CQC combat. I'd rather them uh, lose the we'll, bodies. We'll, we'll hold as long as we need to here. Yeah, two, just right, hold agreed. out. Four, also, and out. grab some buildings and hold out. Make sure you got our uh, security. Russians doing well to. Uh at least keep themselves spread out, but the U.S. defense here is pretty strong. Five kills for U.S., eight kills for Russia. Contact directly south of my most eastern element, other side of the rail trucks. And if they get inside these northeastern buildings, eastern buildings are fucked up here. 
Yep. Shots in the southeast. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Russians firing on... I see the fire. Silas sending shots out towards, looks like Groot and a fire team. Russian mortars landing a little bit to the west of here. Fucker's still alive. On peak. Ooh. Russian just died through the window. The U.S. Uh, making some great kills here, but I don't think they're going to be able to keep up if they can't uh, increase this rate of fire, uh, rate of uh, victories here. Also, losing a squad in the north is going to be problematic to the defense. The defense looking stronger here. You'd see fortifications starting to get built in the warehouse, spread out all over the place, where the mortars aren't really going to be effective. Position down here uh, in the south side of the warehouse. I have guys are in that same location again, but two they're occupying the white building. I've seen three times enemies. Hey, for, if they're still across the way, I'm not gonna worry about them. It's when they start pushing across the train tracks is when we should start worrying. Yeah, I copy that. So far, as as like the Russians are beginning to push out here, okay. but Boogie tried to do it. He just got lit up. U.S. defense is strong here in the south. Oh. Let's see if we can take a look at some of these Russians who are trying to uh, provide some cover fire here. We got Soldier Wolfie with Kumquad and Groot. Groot, a fire team leader, looking around. Oh! He gets domed. I want to say that was from Silas. Russians starting to uh, get disorganized here. 10 kills US, 12 kills Russia. The disorganization is just too wide of an approach. There is a mortar, there is a guy on the mortar though, with command. Londart's on the mortar and uh, Sloth is. Um, right next to him. And here comes more mortars here. Looks, sounds like a ranging shot, because only one uh, comes out here. Yo, and that lands uh, west to east. a little southeast yeah, of the main building. Something tells me that they're just throwing rounds around, maybe trying to catch U.S. forces out of buildings. Russians starting to line up here in the south. Uh, he's too, too they're a little bit more nomadic here in the north. Let's take a look at uh, some of these Russian positions here. From the perspective of uh, Niels, adding fire on the goon. We're loud. Goons running around here. Uh, U.S. still firing up here. Can't get teammates up. That's right. Uh, it's one life event. So once you go down, that's it. Now you're able to heal, and if you're bleeding, you can get patched up. Hey, I just oh back. man, that's horrible. D leak just got shot up by Evan here. All right. All we gotta do is hold up the depot. Hold it and the receiving fire. Door Evan door comes back around the uh, the corner here. Yeah. This is a neat little position here, Daniel and uh, Dark Lord and Aethel. Holding down the north, direct north of the train compound. Russians getting smoke mortar support here in the south. 
trying to mask a uh, movement here. I mean, the smoke mortar is going to be definitely hurting a U.S. visibility. The problem is, will the smoke mortars last that long? Set it down now. And also. It doesn't account for U.S. forces off the main point. Silas gets a kill over here, but he goes down. That sounded like a round going off too close. Russian forces starting to move across the train tracks. And there's still several, uh... There's still several U.S. soldiers... ...manning defensive positions. Yeah, Mia Jello comes up. He goes uh, on the north side of the train track, leading the team. Music and Lima being right behind him. More Russians still hanging around here. Imanaz and Your Nightmare are just holding their building, assuming that the Russians are going to try to push them out here. And they are getting they are getting pretty swarmed here. There he is. Clay J still holding behind the building. I'm watching the left. And Russians now starting to clear. You had me at Jello get shot up by Clay J outside, but. Yeah, I know. Smokes, they're not really doing shit, so. He just crossed, he just crossed. He's Clay J gets uh, killed pretty quick there by a large amount of bullets. One down. And Defense. Russians now starting to try to, uh, yeah, get himself in here. Your Nightmare takes down, looks like... Ooh, and an explosive takes out both Imanaz and Your Nightmare. Russian engineers doing work. And the Russians come up here and start clearing the building. And... This group is down here, so Russians now with a foothold north. What is their camo? Uh, yeah, there is a mod that we are using, that we use for events. Does uh, modify some things like the kits. Also modifies um, combinations of loadouts and skins to a small degree. Uh, Russians making progress here. They're getting real close. Look at these guys here, directly uh, southeast of the train yard building. They're starting to file into the buildings smoke adjacent. South. Smoke south. Hand, hand smoke south. Yeah, we got a fire team moving south. Let's take a look at some of the uh, American positions here. Burtonizer. Oh, well, look at that. That's smart. I guess he's holding here to shoot outside to his south southwest. You might actually have just had eyes on Bacon Batman, who peaked. He's right in front of me. He might not actually have eyes. Bacon, you can see in the distance, is going to throw a frag. Yeah, that was a frag. And oh, yeah, he did have eyes on Bacon Batman. Keep FTL Snowfall comes over and starts trying to talk him on target. Yeah, that was right where I saw those guys earlier. Meanwhile, in the north, looks like the Russians just failed at attacking into the U.S. squad here. The only ones left seem to be Flamio and Headbusta. Russian forces moving relatively in the open here to the east. They're going to try to get a little bit on si alongside the uh, the main building here and attack building to building. Uh, they're going to have a problem. They're going to run into Garrett and Diggs, and Garrett is looking this direction, and he's got he's even got a Carl Gustav on his back. Uh, meanwhile.
What is this? Don't get shot. Being shot at or not? The Russians are trying to get into the bottom part of the uh, warehouse here. It's not really going to work out for them. They need more smoke. They need that. Um, they need that mortar smoke to come back and actually throw some rounds in there. Meanwhile, look at this. I didn't notice this before. Snakes are still looking for um, Russians to come down this hill. And there's a couple over here that could do that. Don't get shot doing the same thing. Hiding out underneath the, uh, the railroad car. Doing pretty good here. Here we go. Come quiet. We are airborne in Keviola. Moving on in. Shots ringing out. And uh, looks like Diggs getting suppressed here. Uh, Frag goes out. Ooh, what a throw! Burtonizer goes down. And the Russians are just gonna roll right in here. Guys inside. Guys inside. They're inside. Wolfie's going straight to up, uh, straight around here. Wow, uh, Diggs just gets killed, gets shot up. Look at that. That's some great awareness here. Wolfie gets killed by, uh, looks like Maverick, one JF up. Maverick here. Holding one of the uh, forward positions here, falls back. Uh, yeah, southeast corner. Might actually have Revy's number here if Revy comes around this corner. I think Revy is closer to this uh, wall on his right. No, he's still looking around here. Kumquat, Kiviola, and Airborne are uh, still in this back room. Kaviola peeking out. Maverick died. Maverick actually got hit there. Uh, let's see, we've got um, Ronin here. Adding some cover fire from his uh, sandbag here. Keeping Kumquat bottled up. Southeast. Revy looks like he got tagged. Lima Bean now putting rounds this direction. And there goes Maverick again with a great shot. Revy and Nasty Nate trying their best here. Let's get an overview of what's going on. It's getting harder to see now. But the Russian attack is generally coming from the south. There are... There seems to be one more Russian up here in the north. And looks like he's going to be able to actually start contributing. Uh, the commander for Russia is also getting in here. Don't get shot is moving in to try to resecure the uh, yard here as Maverick takes out Nasty Nate. Starting to get closer to uh, conclusion here. 26 kills for US, 24 kills for Russia. It's very close. It's possible they've been... I don't actually know. They're, they're hitting us hard on the south side. Um, if you and see really it, it's... It comes down to Ronin along with Maverick. Um... And Freestalker are holding down everything here. Although the Russians do have access to this stairs, it would be very bad if they started trying to come up here. They have to fight against Fight Milk, who's just. All he's doing is watching the stairs. The Russians aren't even taking a chance to come up here yet. They want more control. Alright, Stalker, give me the touch touch. Oh shit, I, I came over to Oh yeah, they got the woodland uh, camo here okay. for the uh, US. Where they this from? will make you feel better. There so they're go. coming in. They're coming Something in a little bit different side. here. Uh, I'm coming around to you. Uh, they're, it's like outside. They're like in a portion of the warehouse, or the depot that like we don't, we're not connected to. It's hard to explain. Uh, they're on the outside portion or are they on snowfall? They're, they're on like, yeah, there were snowfalls. Yeah, exactly. They're, 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 Oh, look at this little position here. What's going on out here? here. 
Sloth getting hit. Wait, is there a Russians upstairs? No. Oh, Snowfall trying maybe taking some shots. A grenade tries to go up. Doesn't appear to have reached. Snowfall uh, able to shoot back down. That AR is pretty fucking annoying. Can't lie. It sounded like someone just got killed. Maybe someone just gave up. U.S. doing a great job of holding this location. Ronan just throwing rounds out. Here comes a uh, snake. Uh, a snake. Wow. Okay. How about a smoke and a grenade? Two smokes. Looks like a colored smoke on top of a regular white smoke. And very shortly, we'll probably see airborne and uh, whoever else is in that room with them start to peek out here. Airborne is just stuck here because there's really nowhere he can go. I see you just lost Garrett. Oh, Garrett's still up. Fine. Look at Ronan. Right down there, guys. Ronan's They're on top of the train the here. South side now. They crossed from that that corner at five five. All the three, most of the contact five, is uh, three, starting to take place here. Um, Thirty kills for U.S. Twenty five kills for Russia. Three it's starting to come to the you, conclusion here. Now. Russia have to yeah. really start out fragging U.S. They're in that section now. They smoke it. They're gonna have to get their breaching skills on point. Revy is still chilling over here against this wall. He's starting to be a little bit more adventurous and taking peeks out, but he's gotta be careful. Maverick or Freestalker to his left. If that smoke clears and he's not ready. Doobie Skew and Airborne. Airborne actually gets out of his room. That's good, and now Sloth's in it. So Sloth with a limited amount of time to really do anything. Here comes a frag. Is that gonna have enough arm? If someone was there, that'd have been nice, but... Shots taken at Sloth, Inside and Sloth southeast. gets hit with the last round before he runs around the corner in the cover. One down. Make these guys pay for coming in, guys. Make them pay. Oh, it looks like Revy... Just hold an angle. ...isn't here anymore. Right? Oh, here comes Grunt. Grunt walking in. Grunt gets shot. Looks like they're trying to take the main, uh, the main, uh, rail door here. Doobie now, uh, Doobie and Sloth. Sloth's running here. Oh, Freestalker. Is that Freestalker? Outside. Trades. Sloth goes down to, uh, don't get shot here. Don't get shot. Now holding the outside wall. We're starting to get real close here. I believe we're down to one. Airborne is uh, on the stair here. Everyone on the stair here has to bandage. Uh, I believe the Airborne may be the last Russian alive. So we'll be getting close to a round two here very soon. Of course, we'll be taking a break in between rounds. We'll switch sides and do it all over again. Airborne taking shots, trying to bait Maverick out here. Maverick starting to put eyes out here. Don't get shot, wants to get on the action too. Maverick got hit. He has to bandage. I think the second time he's gonna have to bandage here. Oh, look at that. Maverick just puts himself back out there and takes out Airborne. And we will know shortly if that was the last Russian for sure. I don't know, does anybody have a ammo bag? Anybody got an ammo bag? And that is GG. A great win for U.S. forces here. Taking all of their objectives with minimal contact. Falling back to the uh, railway. And then just holding out better than the Russians. <laughs> it was the most right. I wish I had recorded it. Alright, sounds good. Street, Great. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad to hear you wanted to record. It. Fantastic. I like it. Alright, so uh we were awoken by a major today. Tell to take this Russian train yard. 
Uh, they were using it for secrety stuff that we want to figure it out. What it is? Uh, probably nukes. A lot of nukes, probably. Uh, so Who, we have me? to do a we have to do a patrol. Um, from Alpha Four Three Six will be our first patrol point. From there, we have to do Charlie Six Four Three, Bravo Five Seven Four, or Bravo Seven Five Four, and then Delta Eight Eight One. Our last and uh, final position to hold will be Gulf 742, the power plant. Uh, so what I'm having done is Evan and K9 squad are going to move north and basically go around the whole map without hopefully not being seen and push into that location. Secure the location, not placing the fob down yet, but uh, getting it ready for when we complete, complete our patrol. Uh, me... Airborne and Godzilla Pro will be doing the check. So what's going to happen is Airborne will take the first checkpoint, Alpha 435. After that, he's going to push into Charlie 556. From there, me and Godzilla. Godzilla will hand me a fire team. I We will split off. I will move up to this point. And then Godzilla will take the Charlie 643 with one of his fire teams. From there, Alpha will probably pull off the location that he's on, and we'll push into Delta 882, or 881, and set up a fob there. Go ahead and uh, break him off, squad lead. I got first, Vic. Oh, so wouldn't you know it, we're going live in 10 seconds. Cool story. Uh, U.S. is going to go ahead and move out here. Yeah, guns Generally, they're going to take the, looks like they're going to take the, uh, the green route. And we are live. So U.S. are going to have a, uh, are going to get organized here. They're going to start pushing out. Looks like uh, two squads heading north out of Maine on lodges. Two squads heading south out of Maine on foot. Oh no. Doobie almost got left behind. That would have been bad. So just to recap. These are the points. The green points are the ones that uh, U.S. is going to be taking. Now, Russia's only real operating here, uh, operating stance here is that their mortar fob is somewhere in Echo 567. We know it's located in Echo 7. The, uh, the Russians are definitely going to be sending out uh, probing patrols here. They want patrols because they don't know which mission U.S. are taking. They know that the U.S. are coming from their main. They don't know anything else about the U.S. Uh, presence in Narva. So U.S. are going to uh, move out really here. Are. Russians want to get uh, elements far out there so that they can figure out what's going on. Welcome to the Marines. Fucking Willy Pete. There is no Willy Pete. Give me a rock. I'll come first. Hey Godzilla, what uh, fire team am I taking? The Willy Pete sound it makes. You're gonna be taking my uh, Charlie's fire team. Satisfying. Led by uh, Music Q. Oh, this is good. Yeah, still got persistence. He's aware. Sounds good. When uh, when U.S. forces start getting closer, we'll start looking at uh, Russian positions here. You guys got questions? Throw them in chat. I'll try to answer what I can yeah, here. Yeah, I um. The idea for U.S. is, it's just going to be a long time. It's not, well, not a long time, but I mean, it's going to take a minute for U.S. to get in position here. The first point along the route for um, green is going to be Alpha 435. We're coming up on it probably in the next uh, two, three hundred years. Ooh, look at this. Alpha 345. I mean, it's within 200 meters from here. Alpha 435. You know, I'm mixing around numbers when I shouldn't be. Uh, Oddball Squad looks like he's got a fire team with him. And they're pushing out here. They want to get eyes in. Uh, looks like they're trying to get eyes to see where the U.S. is going to fall around here. There are a couple routes here. Uh, if they took the green route, Delta 529er is a uh, potential um, radio clear point, a sensor place for... Uh, the U.S. So Russia are going to have a position here to watch a U.S. approach on this objective. Uh, U.S. has two vehicles. They have two lodges. 
Russians don't have any vehicles they can use for this um, I, uh, for this uh, mission. Yeah, uh, pick up ammo. Uh, you won't be able to pick up uh, ammo weapons from dead players. Um, just like you can't do it in squad, uh, the base game. So, ammo bags. Uh, riflemen will have ammo bags, though. I believe. Actually, no. Maybe the riflemen do, but it's a lot less than gotcha, standard we'll stuff. Also, the changes. Up. There's changes uh, waiting. Yeah, there are different uh, weights for. Regardless, there's different weights for what you can rearm with. I know grenades are significantly higher cost than maybe like getting bandages back. Uh, let's take a look at four here for US. They're starting to get closer to the Russian forward observe uh, fire team element here. There's still a lot of concealment. Obviously, the uh, the the pipeline bridge thing is hiding them. The Russians, you can see in the distance here. This is also about 500 meters. The Russians are moving themselves around. There's a full squad here. Um, other elements that are close by. Um, this third squad element right here is going to be part of the... Um, so are we both holding in patrol or should I push that's... north into the building? Part of the problem here. You can push um, north into the building to get Yeah, this out. is the second round. Cheers. And U.S. forces have already looped all the way around the map. Uh, they came all the way around the map, and they're deploying in the east now. Dude, I can't get over how dope your new Yeezys are. You can also see a significant chunk of uh, resources have been spent at Russia Main, and more of them are still going down, down to about a quarter of what they had or build. We're going to fly over and take a look at, uh, we're going to fly over and take the, uh, take a look at the Russian positions here. This was that forward squad here in the northwest of the Russian position. Holding on the edge of compounds, looking for contacts. And let's take a look at the fob itself and see how that's developed here since the beginning. Yeah, the ammo bearer uh, kit makes sense. I don't know why my mind blanked right there. I'm still getting used to the mod, having everything in here. Uh, we're seeing emplacements created, more solid cover being added here. Russ has a mortar fob. Russ will. Definitely be using mortars. Um, they don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of mortars to use, but it's definitely something that they will use. Or at least something that they can use. Um, actually, now that I think about it, they haven't actually placed the mortar yet. It is available to them. The, the mortar is available to for them to use completely how they see fit. Um, although we haven't seen it placed yet. Uh, actually, no, I lied. There it is. It just hasn't been built. No, Russians... Uh, Russians get the full array... I believe the Russians get the full array of um, rounds. They get smoke um, and HE. Ooh, your nightmare. Um, depending on how you, your nightmare is looking, I mean, the re U.S. forces are just moving straight through. Can I get always valid on? I wonder if your nightmare and vipers see these guys. Don't. Look at your nightmares just crazy, like gazing off here in the east here. And even so, just look at the, uh, look at where all the U.S. soldiers are in the distance here. All in buildings. The closest ones seem to be Storm and Headbuster in this apartment complex. 
They're looking out for any Russian patrols. Longer sight lines if you want to set up in here. I don't want them to know that we're already there. Yeah, don't peek. Don't peek it, but that has longer. Take a look at the map again. Four, take it slow, make Russians, sure uh, probably well. getting close to contact here at the U.S. Rather, well, what was that noise? Airborne squad starting to get closer to uh, Oddball's squad here. Look at this nice spread here from uh, Shugart's squad. This is the next objective point. One of these two buildings here in Delta 8-8. Uh, one and two. We're going to go ahead and take a look here. Falcons actually pushed up kind of far as an early warning for this squad. And actually, it looks like Sugar's squad is actually beginning to engage U.S. forces because they're cresting the hill. Oh, man. That's kind of obvious. Uh, feeding Flamer an AR, throwing rounds. A oh, look at Nasty Nate with a Carl Gustav. Thought about taking a shot, falls back. Round's still uh, falling here. As the U.S. forces decide to go back down the hill, they want to take another way around. Looks like they're going to head north here. There's always a foul placement on. So two radios down. For uh, U.S., two points completed. The third point is here. The fourth point is going to be... Charlie, 6-8. I get always out. So somewhere in here. Uh, no, sorry, 6-8. I can take over, I'm not stressed. Six eight, eight. six uh I'm okay right one now. six. Okay, so yep, there's the third oh, point right here. So, who's in so right one more uh, Delta eight eight eight. So this is the last point down here. And mortars coming out. They are in S seven one seven. That compound uh that mortar is a little far. They're trying to get um U.S. element here. Ooh, that one landed pretty close. Considering these are blind mortars, they're just throwing them north here. U.S. also now engaging Russians at range across the uh, the lake. This is kind of a great position. There's player loaded there in the distance. Rounds coming out. Modern death. Putting rounds on uh, Jello. That AR is still up at one two six. That AR is still up at one two six. You guys are up on them. God damn it. Uh oh. Maybe a little bit of a premature engagement at range. Now they know exactly where the fuck we are. Doesn't appear to be any shift in Russian positions. Russia's uh, still holding their ground, even in the north here. Not really a lot of pivoting going on. Rounds are splashing down on U.S. Admin, how do I find it? Do I just start at main and move back to my position, or what? Uh, yep, that sounds like the easiest way. Sounds good. Hi right, guys, command back by the way. So we've got, they, a uh, we've got a mortar position, uh, D763. Uh, it's currently firing, uh, I think, towards four, if I'm not mistaken. And we have another squad that's maneuvering at Charlie, or sorry, D677. That's maneuvering towards four. Oh, uh, maybe these guys are moving back now. There's some movement here. This Russian squad could get, actually get really stuck in here, but the problem is 
the supporting element for the U.S. forces moving from the southwest of uh, this enemy squad is moving across low and open ground with a nice long, nice long cut right here that's visible, and looks like Russia is moving this squad back. Let's take a look and I wonder what these guys are shooting at. Modern Death and Fisco adding some fire to range here. Let's take a look at Fisco with an AR. Jello gets back up in this window and he's getting shot at. This is risky, but you see the rounds starting to splash around him. Some of these rounds are getting real close. Russian mortars coming out here. Let's see if we can figure out where this is going to land. I wonder if there was an RPG or a mortar. I'm not quite sure. I know I heard one shot go out. Yeah, AR, shift left. Yeah, let's just keep them distracted and then... Oh, eyes on, We're taking eyes shots from guys. Yep. Nasty Nate has eyes back on up, here. Uh, back up, Dix. Totally fine. What's the range on that? It made a suicide mission. Hey, do you see this? Uh, you see that thing? This like a uh, was this Wilded. huge oil tower it's, uh, thing? Honor working with you. Oh shit! You see the chasers flying. Maybe you know. Luckily, he's flying pretty low. Is Nancy Nancy gonna try to take a like shot here? East of us right now. I was wondering if I could push oh, up yeah. to and I could like you could. I want to say it's like three hundred meters. Who does Nasty want to shoot at? Shukart? It's more than that. It's a really far shot. It's about a 400 meter, 500 meter shot edge, from here. Edge of the map? No, he's not towards the edge of the map. If you, if you look on your map, you see those buildings there at D881? It's south of that, that rock uh, structure. Uh, let's just take a look at some other positions here. RPGs coming out from Russia, sounds like. Oh, there's even an element maneuvering north. Oh, okay. Well, that's these guys have been there. There's even an element hanging around up here, in the north. Russian element of one uh, squad one has a fire team moving around with him. Squad one also has these buddy teams pair, uh, pushed out to his east and his northeast. I only hear like pop shots. So, is, what's contact report four and three? Squad 2 changes position, yeah. finds different buildings, and they're just looking for the U they're just waiting for the U.S. to move on them right now. Let's take a look at um, Tinkerbell and Hacky Mackey's position here. Mackey and Tinkerbell, I'm coming into your building now. Go for it. Looks like Hacky Mackey uh, got himself yeah, prone yeah, and deployed. Oh, look at that. Falcon is actually sitting right there. I wonder if Hacky could... Ooh. I wonder if Hacky could see that. It's kind of small, and remember, um... There's no optics on the field, um, since we don't play with optics and squad ops. As far as, uh, attached to... Ooh. Holy shit. RPG uh, hits the building. Doesn't appear to be any casualties from that, but uh, Tinkerbell close to getting caught with an explosion. Right now, one kill for US, zero kills for Russia in round two. Mortars hitting the top of the hill where um, Music's fire team was. But Music uh, looks like they're still taking 
I saw a splash. Maybe they're taking some fire over here. Let me just come back over here and take a look. Dix Folk is crawling. Yeah, you're good to hold half, Dix. If you can. Yep, there are some the splashes room. here from AR. Room. Sugar just got killed from yeah, range. Wow. They're getting close to hitting me. Holes asking, wish there was just a bit of, bit of destruction in this game. Yeah, um, we have. You may have noticed, you may have seen before, um, we've showed it off before. We have maps that have destructible hey, buildings. Dix. Dix, I could put down a sandbag that allows you to just look over just barely. We hope to bring some more of them to operations like soon. Uh, yeah, like right here. Ammo, by the way. So definitely be on the lookout. Boogie still hanging out on the west side of the lake. I mean, there's really, it's really kind of weird. Oh, look at this. K9 has a, uh, just him and a buddy. Do you see anybody or are you just shooting? Yeah, no, I see. I keep seeing him pop up top of that little hill. All right. Oh, this is interesting. Let's take a look at this real quick. Yeah, Holes, the, um, the destructible building is actually something we've modded into a custom map. So K9 hey, I, I am just gonna scream. and Bartok Warrior <laughs> are crawling in to try to and secure. And the best thing is Bika's on our team right now, so he's going to just hear me scream. One, let fire team move, yes. Uh, Perfect. Getting called out like that is brilliant, actually. <laughs> hey, Bikar, if you're watching. Then that gives it away. Hey, Bartok. Hi, Bikar, get sure. ready for a death. Alright, yeah, no, no, no. Never mind. Just, just hold. It's everything within me to, to not to just talk into the game right now. I am I, I am so tempted to just say, what's up, guys? You know, it's fair game at that point. But I won't no, do that yeah. because that would be bad. Anyway, so, K9 and uh, Bartok, they're meant to be coming over to one of these two buildings right here. Uh, this is the last point on the patrol that U.S. have to secure. They have to put a radio on one of these two buildings after they clear it. But, looks like Subway Samurai shooting on targets at range has given away their position. So, K9 and Bartok are right here. They're getting ready to crawl around the hill. K9's just called this contact. They're yeah, both shooting yeah. to their west. That's actually kind of amazing. You can also see some uh, mortar rounds landing. I think this what some mortar rounds landing. How are we doing, boys? Taking any casualties yet? K9 and Bartok getting ready to start clearing this hill. Let's just crawl our way to safety. Yeah, hang on. I'm taking half casualties right now. Yeah, I'm this is not good. The the crawl the foliage right. isn't tall enough to actually hide them as they crawl in here. If Samurai and Scottish look this direction, that's bad news yeah, no, for them. Sorry, I just sent a message. <gasps> They're on the rocks. I see one guy. You said you want the fire team with you? Yep, because we're gonna help. He just went prone. <laughs> oh. Hopefully they're not looking this direction now. What, why would they look this direction? Covenant. Right he's, not, he's, lo he's not looking at us. Quickly, he's on binos looking at us. Oh, and Bartok is crawling on... Now, he, now that they're in this field, they're much more safe. If, if K9 can go through the fields and do it, and Sloth shoots at those dudes in the rocks, he might be able to do it. That's what I'm gonna do, that's why I'm telling him to wait. Sloth is coming over here, but Salty Potato and Feeding, uh, p Feeding Flamer here. That could be bad. Let's take a look at where Sloth is right now. He's moving in to try to help K9 secure the area. US are still holding position. Like, not a lot of movement here. The Russians not really making much movement either. And here's Salty Potato and Feeding Flamer. 
They're just on a hill. Oh, look at that. Sloth takes out Salty Potato. I'm possibly going to go down from AR right now. So, uh, everyone just be prepared. And here we go. Copy. Here goes Sloth going down by AR. Nope. Sloth gets concealment. Does the AR shoot through concealment? Hmm. Oh my god. For maybe deafening shot. Possible contacts in Delta 629. Oh kind of walking towards it. Hey, four, three, fall back. And somehow, four, three, uh, US. Oh my god, two. Hey, put on. <laughs> oh. Motherfuckers, hey, the radio is down! Time to get out. Yes! Two, fall back. One, get that pop set up. Three, the US four, have done back. it. They've completed all the objectives on the route for their <laughs> patrol. <laughs> He's on the rock, uh, look at him. Two guys, Doobie Scoo and uh, short route, short round to go pick 3-4 uh, up. Go. And US is going to send their lodgies all the way around the other side of the map again to try to secure their uh, forces here in the west. Oh my god, yes, K9, you are fucking glorious. Do you want to meet at the airfield at the north? Is that what you said? So, the hold point uh, for... Yeah, U.S. is now this area. Expect to see the radio go down. Expect Evan to plant the radio here very shortly. Let's take a look at the uh, Russian base here. We won't see it. We won't see it anymore. Uh, this map. But let's just take a look. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the uh, the building that's gone on here. Uh, nope, we're down here. Uh-oh. Ooh, Flamer getting shot. Flamer goes down. Sloth kills Flamer. Alright, uh, let's take a look at the compound we won't actually get to clear. Need always valid, please. They still have a mortar. More a dwarf here on the mortar. Tell him to drop the supplies. Command, do you need help or you just no, 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 no. You're good. I and now good. we're going to take a look over here. If they can't get the radio a has been planted at near the uh, power plant or the industrial zone. They don't have very the close to the wall, so they can get very close to the wall. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Command, me and Bartok are going and to Evan doesn't know what he's doing. Check. Sounds good to all. I get a mortar? No. He doesn't get a mortar. He gets fortifications. Kubo, what do you want? I don't know. Um, can you super fob this room? Like... Alright, so let's see here. US are withdrawing to the north and the west. Oh, K9 and K9 and Bartok are going after these guys on the rock. Uh, let's go watch that. All right, Evan, I need your squad to push into that uh, power plant now. Are you sure? Holding those buildings are going to be good, especially okay, flanking nice. people pushing in. Yep, that, and that's fine. Totally fine by me. Here we go. K9 and Bartok making progress here. I'm it's a suggestion. I'll listen to you. I'm just suggesting. I'm just, I'm just fucking uh, looking. I wonder if the Russians even know what's going on. They must know that the Russians... Or they must know that the U.S. is taking the the bottom route. Come on, do you yep. Have eyes to your sound there we go. Bad news. Looks like there's been a, a OPSEC leak here. And the U.S. forces have been found out Actually, at the power plant. Just let them push down to us. I see, I see both of them. The, uh, I see they're going to be moving down to us. So that's they're bad taking, news. They're taking a sandbag. Let's watch the entire Russian force begin to move east now. There's only one the squad. Wait. A squad and a half looks like they're the only ones defending. Three, Maybe this is two, two squads. One, one tapped. Did you kill the other guy? Canine second, gets second one. Guy second guy's still alive. Okay, gonna throw, get close and throw Nader. He's dead. Oh, nice! 
But, uh, command contacts on the rocks are dead. That was like Roger assassination cut. shit. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even know where the shot came from. He was looking still at command. <laughs> <laughs> well done, chaps. All right, so Russia, let's take a look at, yeah, look at that. Russia trickling east, uh, as you do when you're basically told where the U.S. are. This is bad news, three squats versus two holding the point. Let's take a look at some U.S. positions here as the Russians begin to close in. Here comes the mortars. So this is either going to be smoke or this is going to be uh, HE on this position. Well, multiple volleys, actually. Let's see where these land. Are they dropping them on YouTube? It sounds like it's trying to come for you. They're trying to hit K9 Bartok? Wow, they're trying to hit Sloth. And Sloth has eyes on Modern Death's fire team here. An oddball, the squad leader, coming down as well. Command, me and Bartok could try and push north right now and take out that mortar. Ooh, that's a bad idea. He's got to push through a squad to do it. <laughs> Holy shit, that was close. Ooh. Mortar rounds landing. Yeah, there, there's zero Whoa, that last one. That last one, real close to Sloth. Um, Russians close to contact uh, north of the power station. Let's take a look at this. It looks like a uh, fire team plus about a, about a squad starting to hit uh, up here in the north. And the only one watching north right here is uh, Head Busta. Oh, yeah. Once these guys come up the hill, it's bad news for these guys. Actually, your nightmare is visible. Does Headbuster see it? Headbuster doesn't see it. Oh, I think Headbuster just saw it. He redeploys. There goes Nightmare. And Viper stops. He's trying to find out where that came from. But look at the Russians. Russians are, cre are creeping close to the building here. And I bet you, I wonder if Silas can see the barrel of the gun through the windowsill. You can see K9 and Bartok along with uh, US Platoon Command. Still on the west side. I took him out, yeah. Storm dies trying to check on, uh, trying to check on Headbuster there. Well, danger Silas can throw in a uh, grenade. Storm. Just east of you, so they're probably in the Echo 8. Headbust, uh, what's Headbuster going to do? Is he going to try to. Oh, looks like he's going to. Uh, he's getting uh, stormed right now. And the reinforcements are coming in. Two squads worth. Just about two squads worth. Still on lodgies. They gotta come all the way around. Uh, this is bad news. Oh, if they take the rail bridge here. Headbuster kills one, kills Silas, I think. And two. Command, stop pushing. Do not push. We got contacts E712. Took down three, so at least a squad up in the north. Roger, you If you're thinking about getting squad. I mean think about it. There's a lot of there's a lot of games in the in the menu right now, man. Um, there are a lot of servers, a lot of servers in different time zones, different locations, and it's on sale if you get it through Humble Bundle, I believe.
uh, I think it's on sale in the humble bu in a humble bundle. So check that website out. It's on sale with some other games. Mortars coming out from Russia. That's the uh, the mortar right there. You see Dorf right in the middle of your screen here on the mortar. Wait, come on. You said you want us to hold. Dorf is facing. No, Dorf is shooting. Mortars, mortars at K9 and Bartok. Yeah, mortars are close. Oh, Bartok charges a corner and gets killed by Diggs. Diggs takes a bullet though. And K9 heads around the corner just in time as uh, Garrett takes shots at him. Yep. K9's gonna fall back for um, for Sloth to try to regroup here in the west. I want these two squads get dropped off. I need you guys getting in there. Oh, location. the Lodgies have come all the way down. So Ooh, look. Okay, oh, we, no. Uh, Bad news down. ahead. A Cardi... Who's this? A Cardi. If a Cardi gets eyes on... The Lodgies, <gasps> the, the Lodgies turn off the road. He's not even looking. Does he hear the Lodgies move? No one has eyes on the road up that far. Oh, man. He can barely see the Lodgie from here, and it looks like the squad is going to dismount. So, Akardi might have eyes on the infantry starting to move in here. These guys might be moving pretty recklessly, actually. They only have about 200 meters to clear before they're back in their compound, but... They're kind of sandwiched in. If Viper gets his fire team moving here, and Modern Death can get his guys starting to look north at the... Oh my, you can see all the outlines right here. They're starting to move across into the, uh, the low-lying water. There's a lot of fire up here in the north. Actually, that's for that west, so that's K9 and Sloth still getting engaged. Oddball's running up on K9 right now, but... <gasps> There's a hill in the way. Oh, no! Russians aren't going to have any idea. Look at that. Look at that. The Lodgies are here. They run across and straight onto that little pier bridge thing. And there's a... Oh, man. That is brutal. U.S. are able to reinforce cleanly. K9 looks like he's stuck here in the middle, in the wide open here. Uh, hey, he's got Sloth at his back, but... Um, I need some guys. K9 is literally stuck in the middle here. It's just unfortunate that uh, the Russians just... They had the right idea to put those guys out there, but I don't think they ever anticipated... I don't think they ever anticipated, you know, U.S. forces not coming around their way. I mean, Fisco's even probably watching the road here. I don't know if he saw these guys or if he doesn't have enough elevation, or maybe he's not even looking that direction. He might have been looking northwest or northeast. He might not even have been looking down the road. Oddball falling back. Looks like you, Russia might be beginning to think about massing for a big assault here from the west. All right, right now, uh, all squad leads except for two were kind of trapped. Um, we're going to try and push into the location as soon as possible. More Russian uh, mortars coming out here. Look at the U.S. They're just picking any position they like. Multiple volleys. Oh, looks like uh, Doobie Scoo and Short Round. Huh? Oh no. I wonder what that was meant for. Looks like Russia gonna waste some mortar volleys there. Grenade getting thrown. K9 
god. Oh so man. Oh. Yeah, I got hit. Oh, maybe once. Oh shit, okay. Right, that sounded close as well, like 100 meters. So I guess a Russian tried to throw Stand a grenade towards these Americans, but didn't quite have the arm to get there. Falling about 30, 40 meters short. An entire squad over here in the north, uh, northeast of this position, directly east of the, uh, the last main point here. Still quite a bit of build here. I wonder what the Russians are shooting at. I heard those rounds land this way. I think the Russians are engaged in a distance here. They're trying to throw rockets into this building. Grunt and Beware are hiding, and they have plenty of cover. Beware's kind of on the wrong side, but, I mean... He's down. Grunt has a better defensive position here. More rockets. Uh, rockets hitting the window. Hey, can I get a bunker? Can I get a bunker SL right here? <sighs> Look at this. Like a bunker, I was, I was doing the right this one. All no, this right super fobbing going on here. Can you play sly? Russians starting to organize for a big push here. Two squads from the okay, west, one squad from the east. So that's where North Short North round North. might have eyes on some of these guys here. Contact H746. They're to the east across the river. Yep, short round probably called these guys out. Squad three, make sure you're watching east. Oh, look at modern death in the open compared to uh, short round. Short round goes prone, bipods up. Oh, does Fisco see these guys? Fisco sees these. He bipods. They both bipoded up. Fisco and Modern Death both have this amazing concealment. Rounds come out. Fisco not able to put rounds on target. Short round. Uh, actually, no. Short round gets hit by one. And bleeds out, looks like. So a little trade here in the south. And, ooh, a rocket comes in. Doobie Scoo is the last one here. Oh, here's Dorf and Ronin coming to this island. Uh, anyone else? Akardi on the other side here. Dorf and Ronin going to clear off Doobie Scoo, question mark. Doobie Scoo, uh, where'd he go? Uh, oh, here's Doobie Scoo. The Russians are getting closer. We're going to take a look at the main push here in just a second. Oh, there's no way a dwarf can see him from here. They're trying to clear that rock. Doobie Screw takes shots at Ronin. Ronin goes prone. Ronin gets shot. Dorf is going to flank around here and probably get him. Russians getting waylaid by, looks like, Flamo. And some of the uh, U.S. forces up here on the point. Doobie doesn't really displace. Dorf is looking to, uh... I guess he's trying to coordinate. Akardi just went down, though. So Dorf's gonna be hunting Doobie. How do you get in these games? Uh, you need the basic. Uh, you need to take our basic SOTT course, which means you'll have to sign up on our website, squadops.gg. And on the calendar, just wait for the uh, basic SOTT course to be posted. You take that course and you're able to sign up for pretty much anything that shows up on our calendar. The uh, basic course is less about how to play the game and more about how to get along in squad ops and what we expect out of players. It's about an hour and a half tops. Oh, look at Nasty Nate here. He's got a uh, Carl. He's looking for people to shoot. And Modern Death. Looks like he's got a fire team coming to him. Oh, Modern Death just goes down. They're, they're 
meanwhile, Dorf taking shots. Question mark. No, no. Nation's about around right now. Uh, it's U.S. forces holding the uh, industrial part here, a park here. The Russians are red forces uh, moving in to try to uh, take out the U.S. position here. Wow, there's the U.S. are spending rockets from our shell, or rather recoilless rifle shells from the Carl Gustav to try to hit Dorf here. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Patrick Starr, the goon, getting surrounded here. Grenades trying to get thrown in the building. I don't think it, is. Uh, it bounced off. Uh oh! Does anyone have eyes? I wonder if Flamio can see these guys as they try to go around. Flamio does gets one, gets two, and Slev runs away. Great positioning by, uh, great thinking by, uh, Flamio, Flamo Hotman. You can see his position here. Okay, okay, Siri, that's enough. No! Man, you say something similar to the S-word and all of your devices just wake up. Whoa, what was that? My squad has killed 11 in the north. Good shit, good fucking shit, hold it. Had Russian forces down. in the west, uh, in the east here. Starting to try to Sound probe from outside. Eyes on, eyes on, eyes on. 26 kills for US, 7 kills for Russia. Dude, it's my phone, it's my iPad. Everything just sort of breaks up here. Snakester taking some shots here. I think he just got a kill. I thought I saw a red, uh... Red line there. Oh, does Snakester see... That door? Snakester maybe... I wonder what Snakester sees here. He's moving in close. Russian... Russian attack is mainly broken here. It's pretty wide. Not enough, uh... Not enough concentrated force here to really make a difference, and there's just so many... There's so many U.S. forces alive still. Uh, Sloth and K-9 try to make it back into the attack here. Sloth got hit and uh bandages. I'm still up, I'm still up. Copy out. My squad's engaging that as well. Right. Command, I recommend you do not go into that island. They're traveling towards you. Here's a K9's position here. K9 follow. Just trying to keep up on all these angles here. Russians moving away from the uh, the west here. Slev gets himself another position here. Might have some cover from the buildings to his immediate northeast, but just as concealment, you can see Flamo Flamo Hotman. I think he just saw. I think Flamo just saw him. Slev is just crawling here. Flamo's looking for him again, and I think he might have just missed him. When is this getting a sub button? Uh, we stream on multiple. Ooh, youch! Uh, Russians are actually close in here. Free stalker and oddball make it into the building. Oddball starting to go room to room here. I got 
Oh, there's so much cover here. They have to go into this, like, deadly alleyway. Are they close? Watch it. I'm watching east. All outside this door here. Garrett gets hit. He's by the cinder blocks, right outside, right outside their cinder blocks. Five meters. On the left side? Left side? He's right there, left side, yeah. Five meters. He's by the cinder blocks. <laughs> yeah, he went out to get shot from his uh, north. This might be bad. So. Oh, and Garrett gets killed from his side. <laughs> he goes. Looks like uh, oh! Nasty Nate. Ooh, a grenade. Pad grenade. Rope players, not center blocks. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see, who's all left here? Freestalker still living inside the compound. Revy hears him through the wall. Right here, like southwest of me. I'm half dead. They're close, guys. They're close. Squad one, between me and you. Squad one. So it looks like four Russians remain. Yeah, I think it's just four Russians left. Clay J and Apa on the uh, southeast here. Ooh, Freestalker gonna try to penetrate the wall here. Rounds coming in. Here comes music and Nasty Nate coming in to clear. Nasty Nate's gonna get a jump on him. Oh, no, here's. And a trade. Nasty Nate down, Freestalker down. What a trade. Appa and Clay will go over here. Appa and Clay taking fire from their north. They're trying to fall back into some defilade here. Clay just gets hit. Clay goes down at range. You see Airborne has a f about a fire team size element in those windows peeking around here. Appa's all by himself now. Kneeholes looks like he's still running around. Yep, Kneeholes running around. Actually, he's going to run around behind K9 and Sloth. Sloth has Binox up. Neholes definitely sees this. Neholes waiting for it. And Neholes only seems to be aware of Sloth here, uh, keeping about yeah. 10 meters. I think it's behind that yeah. It looks like cleared him out. Got it. K9 comes around. Oh boy. There's also a guy behind you. I killed a guy behind you. Ooh, Appa goes down too. Uh, that might be it actually. I believe. I think that's it. Is anyone else up? Uh, we'll know here in a second if that's it. Yeah, I think that is it. So, US, so 37 oh kills to 13 kills for Russia.